Welcome to another JavaScript Marine Vlog. We're going to be showing you how to connect and how to perform a key programming on a Sea-Doo watercraft. First, we need to press the watercraft picture in order to access the brand menu. Then select Sea-Doo. Now select the desired model. And after selecting the engine, by clicking into the connector symbol, we have the connection instructions. Detail by text and also with images. First, image of the connector location, connector image, pinout detail, and the cables you need. This is the cable JDC602M, but we're gonna be talking about the cable JDC660M, which will be connected to this blue plug. This is just for watercrafts or jet skis previous to 2009. JDC600, and JDC 213M3 are the adapters that are connected to the Jaltes Link interface. And from those cables, you will have to connect the cable, the C2 cable JDC 602M. Insert the key and press connect. To perform a key recording, select parameters and then keys recordings. As we'll be performing an action that needs to write on the ECM, we need the S promote code. This code is totally free and can be requested from your client area in our website, childtest.com. Select the box and click accept. Now we can expand the process. From now on, read the instructions carefully. We have three main options. Memorize the key, clear the ignition key and clear all the ignition keys. Option one, memorize the key. There are three types of keys. Depending on the desired selection, more or less limitations will be applied. Normal, without limitation, learning, the speed is limited with the highest limitation and rental, the speed is limited. For the learning process, press accept. There are two ways of recording a key depending on the year of the watercraft or jet ski, as previously mentioned. The JDC 602M has to remain connected from the Jaldes Link interface to the ECM, as well as the previously memorized key on the switch in order to keep providing power supply. Option two, Watercrafts from 2009, the special cable JDC 660M won't be necessary. In this case, the keys have to be inserted directly into the switch of the watercraft when reading the instructions. At that moment, we have to remove the key used to switch on and insert the new key. The system will remain activated for about 20 seconds before disconnection when changing keys. Unlike with Yamaha and Kawasaki, we can record and clear keys at different times. No need to record all of them at the same time. We can record up to eight keys and we don't need to know the exact order. Jaldes Marine will record or clear the key that has been inserted. So as we have two different options, let's start for option A or option one. Jet skis previous to 2009. Once connected the JDC 660M to JDC 602M, press accept. There is no time limitation to perform this operation. Then insert the new key into JDC 660M. In the following steps, the recording process will be finished. For recording option B or 2 for jet skis from 2009, we don't need the special cable JDC 660M. In this case, insert the key to record and press accept. As mentioned, there is time limitation to change keys. The process will begin. If we have lost all keys, we could also use an empty key to switch on the watercraft. We won't be able to turn on the vessel but we'll be able to record the key using a diagnostics tool like Jaltes Marine. In this other case, we will need to change keys in order to perform the recording operation.
Option 2. Clear the ignition key. We must follow exactly the same process as recording a key. Option 3. Clear all keys. We just need to press into clear all ignition keys and all will be erased. Although there are different options, on Sidu the process is easier than with Yamaha and Kawasaki because we can do it with the diagnostics tool. You don't need to use a release as with Yamaha and Kawasaki. When finished, you just need to remove or disconnect the diagnostics cable JDC602M and JDC660M if it has been used and check that the ignition keys work correctly. Thank you for following us.